Hey guys, believe it or not, I am back with yet another haul. I just needed to be back in back in my hometown for a few days and I knew I would get my mojo back. And of course, it is. I'm finding stuff like crazy. I always get excited to go out of town, like to try to dive in um, other dumpsters, but th I never find anything. So when I get home, I always seem to find tons more, per usual. But here I am with this haul. Obviously, this is mostly snack foods. Came from the pharmacy. It all came in this bag right here. The only thing left in there is a receipt and all of this delicious, fabulous stuff. Most of the dates on these is not until August. So uh, it is nearing the end of July, but we still have not hit August. So these have not even passed their dates yet. And since they are, you know, pre-packaged, processed foods, they'll be good for much, much longer. Most of this will be donated. I <laughs> I actually just took everything I found in my last few videos as well as some bread, rice, peanut butter, drinks, macaroni, stuff like that. I actually just literally an hour ago went and donated that and on my way home is when I found all of this. So I guess I will be heading back and donating this as well. Well, most of it. Um, so let's start right here. I have a box of Cheez-Its. Let's find a date. March. So these are a little bit older, um, but again, they are fine. She Cheez-Its, I feel, are naturally a little bit stale anyways. Does anybody else feel that way? So those will be good. Um, Go Raw Choco Crunch Spouted Cookies. I have found those before. I also have some whole grain baked cheddar goldfish right there. Behind that, I have four things of organic coconut flour. I have found these in the past, and I just don't use flour ever. Like, I just don't use it. I guess I could make my own pancake mix. Or I still have some of these from the last time I found them. Um, and this can be used in, in place of regular flour, but I just never, never bake from, well, not never, but I don't bake from scratch very often. So these don't get used too often. I'll probably keep one and give away the rest. Behind that, I have some soft baked snickerdoodle cookies. I love soft cookies. They're the best, much better than the hard cookies, for sure, hands down. There's that. And then I have a pack of the Austin's Peanut Butter Crackers right there. A whole bunch of granola bars. These are the Fiber One um, Chocolate Brownies. Let's do the granola bars. Um, I have two packs of these Lara bars and three packs of these Lara bars. These ones are chocolate chip cookie dough, and these ones are chocolate chip peanut butter. Um, these, Yeah, they both have five bars in them. If you don't know about Lara bars, they are a healthier alternative, so they say, to regular granola bars, and they are. Um, it lists all the ingredients on the thing. If you're used to the typical like sugary, grainy bars, these are not going to be your most favorite thing, but if you're a little bit more health conscious at the moment, these aren't bad. They're pretty good, especially the peanut butter ones. I love peanut butter. They have a really dense texture, so... Um, I actually found out about Lara Bars through dumpster diving. I used to find these so, so, so often. If you go back to one of my old videos, I bet there'll be Lara Bars in it. <laughs> Moving on, I have six Smash Crispy thingamabobs. I have found Smash Mellows before, like marshmallows, but Smash in the front. <laughs> but I've never found, like, the Rice crispy versions of them. I have three Strawberries and Cream and three Cinnamon Churro. This box was ripped open a little bit, so I decided to try one, and let me tell you, they are absolutely delicious, and I think I will like the cinnamon churro even better, so I'll probably keep one box of each of those. Um, I totally got, I lost track of what I was doing. I was doing granola bars. All right, here we go. Um, Special K chewy nut bars. This is cranberry almond, and then I have one chocolate almond as well. I have two dark mocha almond kashi, and then two of the store brand Gold Emblem Greek yogurt and blueberry flavored granola bars with real blueberries, they say, so that's good. Um, and then back to the Rice Krispie Treats, delicious. And behind that, I have some cereal. I have two things of Rice Chex, which if you guys have never made Puppy Chow, that's what Puppy Chow is made with, and Puppy Chow is delicious. <laughs> so maybe I'll keep one of those and make some Puppy Chow, but. I'll give away the other one and then both of these as well. 
I have some Cascadian Farms. This is organic fruit and nut granola. I like to use my granola as cereal with milk rather than yogurt. Um, and then behind that, I have some cocoa pebbles. Right here is instant oatmeal. These are a variety pack. They're cinnamon spice, apples and cinnamon, and maple brown sugar. And then I have a little variety of crackers. Townhouse Original, Ritz, the uh, premiums like the saltines, and then almond nut thins. All of these will be donated as well. And last but not least, I have my little coffee corner. I find coffee like no other. I really do. Um, <laughs> I'm thankful for it because we do use coffee. I don't drink it, but my boyfriend does. And then I give a lot to my dad. I actually just gave a bunch of, to him two days ago, so I'll give him a little bit more. Um, but before that, I also have some store brand coffee creamer. This is like the powdered version. So there's that. We won't be keeping that, I don't think. Maybe. We'll see. But I have two K-cup pods of the Folgers Classic Roast. And even these don't expire until August. So these have over a month left. I have two vanilla biscotti Folgers. I don't know if I've ever found these before, but they make it sound delicious. So that's good. I bet it smells good. And then I have one Starbucks Italian roast and then one actual bag of Starbucks breakfast blend. It's just a little bag. So that's it on the coffee. Um, but as you guys know, K-Cups are not cheap. I would never, ever, ever buy these in the store because especially the Starbucks ones, I don't know, what are they, like $7? Ridiculous. But for free, I'm not going to complain. <laughs> so um, here's the little overview of the haul. Just one bag from one store. I was going to head to some more stores, but we have had some major storms here today, this evening, and uh, it started storming right as I got to this dumpster. And I figured, um, first of all, it's hard to see in the rain, especially when you're wearing glasses. And I didn't think it was too smart to be at a big metal dumpster when it's lightning outside. So I headed, I headed home, and but I still found this to share with you guys. So once again, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Dumpster Cam. And I will be back with more dumpster diving related videos soon, as you guys know. Thank you.